I'm sure many of you may not have heard of or even know what the term rare earth minerals means. So, no, they're not precious stones or some exotic treasure. They are, in fact, a family of 17 elements that quietly power our everyday lives. Without them, our smartphones wouldn't work, electric vehicles wouldn't run, and clean energy would struggle to take off. They may be rare in name, but they are absolutely crucial to the future of technology. Here's a report. You'll find them in your phone, in the glow of an LED light, even powering a wind turbine. They're the hidden stars of modern tech. We're talking about rare earth elements, a family of 17 minerals that may not sound familiar, but without them, technology as we know it could come to a halt. Rare earth minerals, rare earths and minerals. Rare earths. Rare earths. So what exactly are these minerals? And why do we call them rare? Turns out, rare is a bit of a misnomer. These elements aren't actually scarce. They're scattered across the Earth's crust. The challenge is they're rarely found in concentrated pockets, which makes mining and extracting them both difficult and expensive. As the world leans more on electronics and clean energy, demand for these 17 metals is set to surge. According to a 2024 Statista report, China dominates the global rare earth production supply chain, followed by the US, Myanmar, Australia and Thailand. Other countries in the top 10 are Nigeria, India, Russia, Madagascar, Vietnam and Brazil. So why are rare earths so important? They have unique magnetic, luminescent and electrochemical traits. Some are incredibly good at producing strong, lightweight magnets. Others glow under certain conditions. And some make electronics more efficient. These special properties allow engineers to shrink devices, boost battery performance and build technologies that are both powerful and compact. In short, without them, our gadgets would be bulkier, dimmer and far less efficient. For context, lithium, cobalt and nickel are used to produce batteries. Gallium is used in solar panels, raw boron is used in wind technologies and titanium and tungsten are used in the space and defense sectors. Rare earths aren't just minerals anymore, they've become a global power play. Take China for instance. Back in April, Beijing slapped export restrictions on seven rare earths, firing back at tariffs from the Trump administration. A month later, the US and Ukraine signed a reconstruction deal that gives Washington access to Kyiv's critical minerals while keeping ownership in Ukraine's hands. And just this week, a US firm struck a $500 million deal with Pakistan aimed at boosting the country's mineral sector. India is in the spotlight too. A new geological survey says the country's northeast region, including Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Manipur and Nagaland, are sitting on more than 70 million tons of untapped rare earth minerals. And then there's Greenland. The island nation's massive coin field deposit could yield over a billion tons of rare earths. But legal hurdles and development delays means it's still more of a long-term game. From powering electric vehicles, smartphones and renewable energy infrastructure to fueling advanced defense systems and next generation electronics. These 17 elements underpin nearly every high-tech device we rely on. These minerals aren't just shaping industries. They're shaping the future of global power, economic security and the very devices we use every day.